What happened to the cast of Gilligan's Island? Gilligan's Island aired for three seasons on CBS from September 26, 1964 to April 17, 1967. The show was filmed at the CBS studios in Studio City, Los Angeles. The same stage was later used for the Mary Tyler Moore Show and Roseanne. Don Wells, Mary Ann Summers. Wells was a former Miss Nevada, appeared in numerous television series before she took the role of Mary Ann on Gilligan's Island. Following Gilligan's Island, Wells embarked on a theater career appearing in nearly 100 theatrical productions as of July 2009 and today serves as a spokesperson for MeTV. Tina Louise, Ginger Grant. Louise made her Hollywood film debut in 1958 in God's Little Acre, the same year the National Art Council named her the world's most beautiful redhead. Louise resides in New York City and is a member of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. Jim Backus, Thurston Howe III. Backus was acting on radio as early as 1940. He was best known for being the voice of Mr. Magoo. He later suffered from Parkinson's disease, forcing him to only make a cameo appearance in the final reunion special of 1981. Jim Backus passed away on July 3, 1989 from complications of pneumonia. He is buried in Westwood Village Memorial Park Cemetery in Westwood, Los Angeles. Natalie Schaefer, Lovey Wentworth Howe. Schaefer only accepted the role because the pilot was filmed on location in Hawaii. She looked at the job as nothing more than a free vacation. Schaefer was legendarily secretive about her age, claiming to be born in 1927. She never revealed her true year of birth even to her husband during their marriage. Her actual birth was 1900, which was not discovered until after her death. Schaefer died of liver cancer at the age of 90. She was cremated and her ashes were scattered into the Pacific Ocean off San Pedro's Point. Russell Johnson, Professor Roy Hinckley, PhD. Originally, Johnson was not interested in the role and was waiting for a TV show of his own, but his agent talked him into auditioning. A real life war hero, Johnson was shot down in his B-25, breaking both of his ankles upon impact. Johnson died from kidney failure January 16th, 2014. His remains were cremated. Alan Hale Jr., the skipper, Jonas Grumby. Appearing in over 200 film and television roles, Hale's long acting career began in films in 1941, appearing primarily in westerns. Hale so loved his role as skipper that he still appeared in character at his Los Angeles restaurant, Alan Hale's Lobster Barrel, long after the show's end. Hale passed away on January 2, 1990 of thymus cancer at the age of 68. His body was cremated and his ashes were sprinkled into the Pacific Ocean. Bob Denver, Gilligan. None of the episodes ever specified Gilligan's full name or clearly indicated whether Gilligan was the character's first name or his last. After Gilligan's Island, Denver went on to star on other comedy series, including The Good Guys in 1968 and Dusty's Trail in 1973. Denver passed away on September 2, 2005 from pneumonia. He was cremated and his ashes remained with his family. Though the show has been in syndication since 1964, the cast received no substantial residual payments for their roles. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon if you want to be notified of any upcoming videos.